Troy Riggs, I'm the Vice President of Sagamore Institute, but inv been involved with public safety for 28 years, been police chief twice, and had other responsibilities as well. Elevate does a couple things. One, everybody has a basic need of being wanted having someone that mentors them, loves them, and cares for them. And that's what I've seen with the mentors in Elevate. Not only do they help individuals in school, but they help them when they're outside of school. And these are young people, many of them have tremendous talents. And without Elevate, they would never know their full potential. To see a young person that moves from home to home, that has a broken family, that has people in their family that have drug dependency issues, witness some type of violent crime, but they have all this talent and to see the people from Elevate really pouring into them and seeing that for the first time in a lot of these young people's lives, someone actually cares about them, loves them, and holds them accountable for their actions and shows them that there's a better way for people to get a good education and then to move on into college. Education is the key, but it has to begin with someone that cares for them, mentors them, holds them accountable, and in many cases loves them as a human being and wants to support them on their, on their trajectory to achieving what we all want, the American dream. In 28 years of public service, I've come across a lot of different programs and initiatives to try to help youth, but I've never seen one like Elevate, where you have individuals that mentor and care for people day in and day out and offer young people that have never had the hope of a better future, a better future. So I would ask you to think about visiting Elevate and potentially giving, but also roll up your sleeves and being part of the solution as well.